everyone, it's Rebecca from Bex Fine Art and the Idea Museum. And hopefully you watched my previous video on nature printing because what we're gonna be doing for this video is turning our nature prints into some really cool fantasy drawings. So this one I'm actually going to make into more of like a fairy landscape. And then this one, I'm just gonna show you some cool ways to outline and really add to your abstract piece to make it even more awesome. So let's take a look at our supplies. All right, so these are our supplies. We obviously have our nature prints, some Sharpies or regular markers. I just prefer to draw with Sharpies. Colored pencils, um, paint pens. These are metallic. And then I have a few different types of glitter. I have some glitter pens, and I have no idea if they work, so we'll be testing that out today. I have some really fine iridescent glitter, and then some kind of chunky pieces of glitter. So obviously, if you have um, loose glitter like this, you'll need some glue. Unfortunately, I don't have glue, so I'm gonna be using matte medium, which you can use for collage projects. Um, but a glue stick or regular white glue works perfectly. I just don't happen to have any right now. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna be starting out with my colored pencils on this one. And like I said, for this, I'm just sort of adding accents to it. I'm not really gonna change it into a whole new drawing, um, but I actually really like how the nature print came out. So this is a way that you can kind of accentuate your nature prints. Um, definitely make sure that your paint is dry before you start working on these. So I'm gonna be taking a couple pencils for shadowing and kind of adding detail. So I'll start with my green and I'm just sort of gonna add some outlines to some of my green leaves. And I'm not gonna outline them totally because again, I want this to stay pretty abstract. So I'm just sort of scribbling in some loose shadows. So you can see that by adding those color pencil shadows, it really helps to make these leaves pop a little bit more. I'm not really changing how they look too much, I'm just sort of adding a little bit more depth to them. So now I'm gonna use my orange color pencil to add some of the same thing into my yellow leaves. You want to add more to this. You can definitely take your markers and outline the leaves even further. I actually really like how this one looks, so I don't want to ruin it, but I will do a different technique on my second um, nature print to just show you how it can look. So I'm gonna start with my Sharpies just to do some loose outlining, and I've tried to pick um, the colors that I see in here. And what I'm gonna do is really just that very loose outlining the plus of using the markers instead of the color pencils is you can really define your leaves and add some really fine details on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna talk about how you can really transform this into a more dreamlike and fairy landscape. While we were a pile of twisted metal. So our next step to transform this is I'm gonna be using my metallic paint pen. Unfortunately, my silver is a little bit dried up. And this is just gonna be an additional layer of shimmer to go along with our glitter. So the next part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a black Sharpie and I'm gonna to try to make some 
fun little fantasy details, like some little swirls all over the place. And then I'll maybe add some small fairy wings and then we'll get to the glitter. Missing that beat, stay with me, baby. Let's sew up the broken parts, nice and neat. Finger on the bolts, I keep missing that beat. I keep missing that beat. I keep missing, missing. All right, so I've added some black sort of fairy silhouettes. They're not the most amazing, but it's just about making a fun little doodle. So I'm gonna take some glitter, and first I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to the fairies to just make them pop a little bit more. And you'll notice some of them I added legs and arms too, and others I just left the wings because I'm trying to make it seem like some are further away than others or some are really small. And the next thing is I'll just add a little bit of glitter to some of my leaves and flowers. So when it dries, this is gonna be a super shimmery, glittery piece of art. Last part is I'm gonna add my fine glitter and my glitter chunks. So I'm not gonna use a ton of the fine glitter because I've already got a ton of glitter on here already. So what I'm gonna do, and remember you'll be taking your regular glue, not matte medium is I'm gonna just add some glitter around the outside of my fairies to order to look like fairy dust. And I'm just kinda dabbing this on with my finger, nothing fancy. And I'll just take a little bit of my fine glitter and kinda tap that over the glue. Everyone, I think, should know how to do this. And then last will be my glitter chunks. So for these, I'm just gonna add a bunch kind of to the ground. Just to, I don't know, make it pop. I just want it to look a little bit more fantasy-like, and I think the more glitter you have, the more fantasy it is. trying not to mess up the other glitter that I put down. So these are really fun um, glitter pieces. They're more three-dimensional and they're iridescent, which is always fun. They kind of look like glass, which is really cool. I actually used a bunch of these at the museum. I did a um, messy creations class, which is just an open-ended art class for kids two to five. And we made fairy houses, and this was one of the supplies to add to it, which obviously made it super fun. And then, you know, just add more glitter and glitter chunks wherever you feel that it is needed to really pump up your fairy landscape. And then you'll just kind of tap it off. And we've got our beautiful glittery masterpiece. Oh my goodness, look how awesome and glittery that is. I love it. If you can't tell, I love glitter. So up the broken parts Nice and neat Finger on the pulse I keep missing that beat I keep missing that beat I keep missing, missing All right, everyone.
everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to turn your nature prints into something a little bit more fun and detailed. Just to show you a little close up of these, this one was my um, leaf painting that I just added some colored pencil details to. I actually really like that technique a lot because it's subtle, but it really does make it pop more. And then here's our fun fairy landscape. You can really see all the glitter in this. So I used Sharpie and several different kinds of glitter to really add those details. As usual, please subscribe and feel free to share with me your nature prints, your fairy garden creations, anything else you'd like. My email is info.bex at gmail.com. You can also send those on Instagram at Bex Fine Art. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay with me, baby. We'll sew up the broken parts tonight.